Hundreds more on all sides. And it means trying to Europe a lot. As a human being, we have this uh, uh, extra element of uh, really being able to be touched and uh, touch others and appreciate both aspects, uh, being touched and uh, being able to touch others. And one of the ways that we can actually be touched and uh, uh, able to touch others is through art, through creativity. And uh, so, to be able to, you know, uh, express uh, 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 this human rights to appreciate and uh, appreciate particularly creativity of uh, uh, human mind as well as also the mind that uh, just has a tremendous potential to naturally express its own dynamic in the world, uh, in large, whether it is in the nature or whether it is uh, in the world of uh, inanimate or in the world of uh, animate. I think uh, it is uh, such a blessing. I always say, as you have heard this before, if in the world there wasn't a music, uh, how would uh, that world be be if there wasn't a you know a dance how would that world will be if there wasn't a you know mm, uh, sculptures how would that world will be so you know as much as this world is enhanced by uh, science and technology I think the artists and the art that they have created really has been the soul of the human spirit and uh, uplifting of the human spirit in the world and when we speak about the creativity I think you know I mean this is maybe uh, a one example mm, this is maybe uh, perhaps uh, uh, you know uh, my creativity and you are enjoying uh, or I hope you are enjoying uh, the sense of my creativity but that creativity is in all of you you know you are creating always something and if always, whether it is your thought, idea, whether it's a piece of a uh, 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 sentence of a writing, or whether it is a piece of a uh, drawing, or whether it is uh, just uh, uh, making a tea, uh, or rearranging your bedroom, or rearranging your uh, living room there is a sort of like a, a engagement with your creativity and why not to sort of really be in touch with that when you, when you, when you create and then appreciate that whatever comes as a spontaneous and whatever comes from the open ground and whatever comes as a sort of new uh, bursting idea that was not really premeditated or preconceived uh, 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 nothing could be all preconceived Something has to be new, even in the preconceived uh, uh, notion of creating uh, uh, something in a uh, uh, duplicate way or re uh, redundant way. So always, I think, being in touch with that uh, open ground and the surprise that the open ground can present the nature sort of like a can present to us. You know, that's a very uh, incredible. Uh, uh, experience for me uh, when I started to paint most probably you have observed uh, what one uh, thing that I really enjoyed is you know how it looked in the beginning it, looking at the canvas and how in the process it turned into uh, many many different uh, pictures and many many different uh, colors and many many different shapes and forms you finally it ended in the way that it ended and I never could have conceived this uh, in, uh, from the beginning. Uh, 
So it was all true, surprise, and we all need surprises. <laughs> and I think surprises could really sort of like, a, in one hand, uh, for many, uh, be a little bit of an uh, unsettling, but for many, I think the surprising is what uh, uh, surprises is what warms your heart in a genuine way and it, what keeps your heart in a sort of like a uh, fresh. So in that way I feel you know uh, it's very much uh, as an, a Buddhist teacher as well as also an artist or uh, as far uh, as uh, mm, uh, I'm concerned it is a very uh, complementary to the practice uh, of the meditation and I want to encourage you all to you know create something uh, every day and whenever actually you have the time and chance uh, or even when you don't have the time and chance uh, maybe perhaps when your mind is getting quite uh, solid and tight and uh, you're only thinking about the numbers and the bills yeah. and uh, also the shores you know to even take the numbers and to even take the shores and to even take the uh, bills as in a sort of uh, how one can actually creatively relate to it rather than a sort of in a very kind of a pragmatic, preconceived uh, pre and uh, uh, sort of in a linear, uh, uh, linear way. So in that way, I uh, feel it is my uh, uh, kind of in a responsibility as well as in a duty um, to promote the, the, uh, uh, the emphasis on uh, being artists and uh, creating uh, pieces out of one's creativity as a uh, meditator and as a uh, uh, practitioner, not rejecting it. Many people have told me over the times they were artists, they were uh, painters, they were musicians, they were ballet dancers, they were uh, sculptors. And then as soon as they got into their practice of the Dharma and meditation, somehow they felt that was a little bit of an, uh, an a frivolous, frivolous and taking too much of a time. And so they therefore then kind of uh, uh, dropped out of that and then they missed it but somehow they never got back. Now I've heard this story many uh, times before and I always tell that this uh, wrong attitude uh, of being an, a practitioner or a meditator. Though of course maybe they, uh, they can be a, a higher a level of a priority but at the same time I think to uh, be in touch with one's creativity and to express oneself and to create art in the world I think it's a very very uh, heartwarming and uh, complimentary to a meditation practice. So I want to promote this and I'm really glad that you all are here and that you all uh, I hope are enjoying uh, pieces of uh, uh, this uh, art that has come to be uh, created uh, by uh, myself out of my uh, creativity out of my Dhamma Dhatu uh, and uh, thank you all very much for coming and uh, good night to you all.